Donald Trump is absolutely terrified right now because his own attorney general, Jeffrey Rosen, testified against him and the crimes he committed in his final days as president against American democracy. I want to play you a clip from Dick Durbin, one of the senators that heard this testimony and how awful Donald Trump was. He was asking him to do certain things uh, related to states, uh, election returns, uh, which he refused to do. He just said, I'm not going to do that. Uh, he was being asked by the White House, uh, the leadership in the White House, to meet with certain people who had these wild, bizarre theories of why that election wasn't valid, and he refused to do it. Just how directly, personally involved the president was, the pressure he was putting on Jeffrey Rosen, uh, it was real, very real, and it, it was very specific. This president's not subtle when he wants something, a former president <clears throat> is not subtle when he wants something. and. I think uh, it, it's a good thing for America that we had a person like Rosen in that position uh, who stood, withstood the pressure. Sounds like this is a man, in Donald Trump, who, who actually knew about the levers of power that he had to potentially try to use to keep the election results from happening. Yes. There's no overstating it. Donald Trump put direct pressure, likely illegal, on his own acting attorney general, the guy who only took over because Bill Barr quit, likely because Bill Barr didn't want to do the things also that Rosen said no to. And you know, what Durbin is saying there is crucial. Donald Trump in a very direct way used the power of the presidency to try and get the DOJ involved in his election coup attempt. His attempt and the attempt of the Republican Party to take the election away from the American people. And this is really important because as noted by the New York Times and other sources, Rosen specifically testified now, he did it now, as well as Donahue, another person that we talked about, the acting associate attorney general, basically saying that if they didn't do it now, Trump and the Republicans would try to silence them through lawsuits. So they did it now because they knew if they didn't, Trump and, and Republican lawyers would silence their efforts to expose the anti-democratic coup by Trump. And what What's crucial in this interview, I can only play you so much of it, but what's absolutely crucial to note is that Dick Durbin did not rule out criminal charges. He was asked very plainly, will you charge Donald Trump criminally? Are charges on the table? And he wouldn't say no. And I know a no doesn't necessarily mean a yes, but there were points in that interview where he was asked questions and he said yes. And he said no. So he's not above giving a definitive answer. And so the reality is that this groundbreaking testimony from within a Republican president's own administration, given almost on the, under the cover of night to ensure that lawyers couldn't stop it, could lead directly to Donald Trump being charged and convicted and arrested for a crime against democracy. Trump's legal troubles are only beginning. And mark my words, this should be the thing that takes him down. And there likely is enough evidence to prove he's an anti-democratic thug and criminal. Now comes the political test. Will the Biden administration, will Merrick Garland, will the Democrats, will they be willing to do what's right and put this man behind bars for the good of democracy? I don't know the answer to that yet, unfortunately.